Hello everyone and welcome to Stories Untold. It's a series of, or not series, an anthology horror collection. Four stories, one nightmare. So they're all, there's four different stories that are loosely connected to one another. We'll see how at the end, I believe. And um, the gameplay is mostly uh, similar, but uh, adds some elements as you go along. So we'll be doing each episode as a different, ep as a different uh, video here on my YouTube channel. Uh, so let's start with the obviously the place you should be starting, episode one, the house abandoned. So uh, in, full, in the effort of having full disclosure, I have uh, seen gameplay of this game before. Another game from Devolver Digital, by the way. Amazing. Very good stuff. I love it. Uh, <laughs> they they uh, published quite a bit. But anyway, as I was saying, um, I have seen footage of this uh, game in the past. It's been quite a while, so I have a rough idea of what we're in for, uh, but forget some of the details. So this will be a fun learning experience for everyone. <laughs> also, I get a... Uh, yeah, they, they, they captured the, uh, the uh, anthology... Uh, mystery slash horror uh, show opening very well there. The house abandoned. An interactive horror adventure. Yeah. So, uh, as you can see, we're apparently uh, have an old, uh, old video gaming uh, console, quote unquote, here. Um, kind of like a, uh, a Commodore or a uh, uh, what was it? Uh, um, what the hell was it? Anyway, there, there's a bunch of different types that were tape read, uh, tape read gaming, uh, <laughs> gaming consoles where you had to play a cassette tape in the in the drive and let it load from the cassette tape. Uh, I know <laughs> from uh, those of you who aren't as uh, as ancient as I am or who aren't as big of a fan of uh, angry video game nerd or something of that nature. Uh, <laughs> it's an interesting experience, but uh, this is what gaming was way back in the day. Uh, nothing but text and uh, your tape-loaded adventure game. So, let's read. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Yep, it's 10.05 uh, p.m. So the system is waiting for us to type um, a message. So the most common thing to do in an adventure game, these old text-based adventure games, is to look. But uh, apparently look is not the command for this one. I thought I was going to be slick and uh, immediately show you guys what uh, um, examine. Um, look around. There we go. Okay, I need the around, sorry. It's a nice clean car. Not much to see, but there is a glove box. See, and the well-designed ones give you a nice little prompting of what the next step you should probably do is. Anyway, we open our glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Examine the key. Look key. There you go. It's the key to the house. So this game isn't quite as robust as some of <laughs> some of the old adventure games would have been. Uh, some of the old adventure games uh, would take multiple types of input. Look, look, examine. Um, uh, what else would there be? Other things like that, like synonyms for the word that you're trying to look at. So let's read our dad's note. Look, the notes from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay, so. Oh, oh, whoopsie daisy. Press enter to continue, sorry. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. Okay, so. Open door. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the courtyard stretches around the side of the house. 
Go side house. Door appears to be locked. You'll need a key. Go around. Um, go side, I guess. Take a walk, walk around the yard. There we go. The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Look around. Yeah, always look around. Every new room, you need to look around. <laughs> you see a generator on the back wall of the house. Let's start the generator. You switch the generator on, and it works to life. The house is still dark. Well, yeah, of course. That makes sense. The light switch is uh, not there. Go front. You walk back around to the front of the house. Yep. Also, the typing sound is not from me. Uh, in case you're wondering, it's from the game. The game is quite helpfully giving us typing sounds, which is great. Trees stretch up to the night sky. There is a house in the yard. Go door. Oh, unlock door. Sorry. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. No problem. Step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Well, you know what that means. Use light switch. You flick the light switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. I don't know if look around will tell us anything different. There you go. The hallway is a pleasant welcome to the home, airy and fresh. So let's see, we have a couple options here. We got kitchen, living room, and stairs going up. So let's go kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to the utility room, but otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Really, so oh, darn! Utility room is locked. Everyone, I can't look. Can't uh, get that. It's very clean and tidy. It's not been used in a while. Interesting. So the seal family home. It says it hasn't been used for a while. So I guess. Uh, We've come back. The, I think I think we've come back because our, our father has died. So uh, we're just kind of going back to the old family home. Leave kitchen. Maybe that's what we need to do. There we go. Now we can go to the living room. I thought the living room and the hallway was, were connected to each other. But uh, alas, that's not the case. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I guess it's, it's it's supposed to invoke kind of a nostalgia for you, right? You're you're going back to the old family home that you probably haven't been to for a long, long time. Well, no one's been for a long time apparently, and uh, you're just kind of reliving uh, the memories of being there. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good times in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. There's nothing here of interest. Oh, exit. Okay. Whoop, I guess that uh, that leaves us nowhere else to go but upstairs. Our dad said that uh, he left us something. I walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There's a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Standard landing. There are picture frames covering one wall. Let's look at the pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps. Our happy family. Aw. That's great. Uh, I think, I don't, I don't know how common it is to do anymore. Do, do people still hang family photos all over the walls these, these days? I know we have a couple here at my house, but uh, I'm not sure how common that is anymore. A lot of people's homes I go to, I don't see that very often anymore. I guess the uh, the internet, you know, <laughs> with this, the 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 release of the internet, all your social media platforms are your uh, your walls for your pictures. You're in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. The bathroom's clean. Large mirror sits in the sink above the sink. Let's look at the mirror. It's your reflection, looking good. 
Excellent. Hell yeah. Looking crisp. Looking amazing. That's something that's something we should all do for our for the sake of our own mental health, you know. You know, go up to the mirror every now and then and be like, hey, you're looking great. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm being kind of silly, but also I'm not. Uh, 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 you should uh, always uh, give yourself positive, positive affirmations. Yeah. You know, the old uh, Saturday Night Live skit. I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. And gosh darn it, people like me. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful, soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. There's also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room, the door is slightly ajar. Well, before we do that, let's, let's take a look. We have a couple things here in this room. Look at the trophies. She won a lot of trophies for dance and gymnastics, a talented girl. Nice. Look at the posters. Let's see who her heroes were. Posters of all her favorite pop stars mixed with some of her own art. She was pretty good. Uh, so, I guess that no, we don't get any name drops of uh, specific pop stars. Look at the bed. It's difficult to see the bed for all the soft toys. Let's look at the toys then. Every soft toy she has ever owned. Take the toys. We need them. You wouldn't dare touch anything in here. She would kill you. Richie? Sounds like no one's been here for a long time. Well, anyway, we have a uh, cabinet here. Uh, as I thought that we did. What was it? Wardrobe. Sorry, not cabinet. Wardrobe. My, my mistake. They're different things, damn it. Large close wardrobe. Unusually, the door is slightly ajar. She never liked you going through her stuff. Oh, too bad. She's not here. Open the wardrobe. It's empty. Apart from a scattered pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Well, let's look at them. They're, they are all identical. A forest throw that night. You put them back. Interesting. Why would she have photos of that? Okay, so we can't take them. Yeah, so she has just a large collection of photos of a forest road at night. That's kind of weird. Anyway, so we have one last place that we can possibly go to, and that would be our bedroom. However, I thought he said that there was a... Um... Did he say there was an attic? Picture frames. Let's look at the ceiling. Usually there's a... Um... Usually on the second floor somewhere there's a, uh, a, a, a hatch to, to get into the attic. Uh, but uh, we haven't uh, we haven't seen it, so I guess we can't go up there yet. Walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Oh, let's look at the box. Large gift wrap present. The tag says your name. Ooh. Well, I didn't follow my own advice when you look around before doing anything. Just standard bedroom, a desk, a wood grain TV, the usual. Good old desk. A little dusty, but still very sturdy. Open desk. Oh, well then. That's unfortunate. What was the other one? TV? Yeah. Yeah, everything. This is another thing that, of this aesthetic here that, that you're noticing here, too. Um... Uh, uh, you can imagine that the, this TV here on this desk is a is a kind of a replica of the TV. So uh, everything was wood grained back then, uh, everything. And uh, while you see the channels there on the left, you see the, the little lined things at the bottom down there. That's actually a secret hatch where you can adjust like color settings and uh, and alignments and all that kind of stuff. It was very secret. Uh, because you didn't want your kids messing with your TV's, <laughs> TV's color settings and stuff. Anyway, let's uh, open the box. You run up the gift excitedly. It's from our father. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus 2. It's well been well preserved. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. 
Uh, if you'll notice, the uh, keyboard we're typing on is a uh, Futura 128K. Huh. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. It's been preserved well. On your desk is a Futuro 128 plus 2 computer and a copy of The House Abandoned. It's all still to be set up, though. Huh. Set up Futuro. Uh. Play game? Oh. Uh. Computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. Oh, you have to refer to it as a computer, not a game. I'm sorry. <laughs> the computer is all set up and ready to go. The game is here too. Okay. So before there was a, it said dad's, the bedroom feels more like home now that there's a computer set up. Yeah. It said there was a clock as well, but it won't let us look at it. It's kind of weird. Anyway, let's play the game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh. We, uh. Shit. Jeez, shit. Okay. Uh. I think we, uh. We broke the game, everyone. Game crashed. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh. That's not good, though, probably. I th we flipped. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, okay. We, uh. If you, I don't know if you can tell, but the the pictures over here also have the uh, the eyes have lines through them. That's not good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll find the game, guys. <laughs> we're playing the game again. You pull up into the driveway of the family home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. You're in the car. You don't want to get out. There is a glove box. Inside is a key. And a handwritten note from the bed. You take both. Examine the key. Oh, look, key, sorry. Examine's not the keyword. <laughs> it's key to the house. Let's see what our dad wrote in our note. In the game that we're playing in, in the game that we're playing. In the game that we're playing. <laughs> you don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out the car. Get out the car, get out. Okay, I think someone wants us to get out of the car. Let's get out. We obviously don't want to, but let's do it. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Yeah, so we're a little bit of a twisted version of the, the previous run through. Kind of like in the, the, the setting that we're in right now, actually. Anyway, we're now in the side yard. The grass is overgrown, and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutched a note, needing to look around. Let's look at the note again. The note now reads, uh, a bunch of gibberish. So says the game anyway. That could be a hash, a hash code or something of that nature, but uh, I am not a person who can solve such things. Anywho, as the game uh, mentioned, we should probably look around. Also, I do appreciate this game pulling a uh, Sun Hill 2 and having a note change as we go through the game. <laughs> There's an old generator next to you. Use the generator. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Oh, hey. And our desk lamp turned on. I'm sure that's just a coincidence. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind. All happy places are gone. Let's look at the woods. Oh, look at wood. Uh, let's look at the forest. It said there was a forest, right? No. Okay. Well, anyway, too bad. I thought maybe we could uh, uh figure out some some more details about the uh the pictures our sister had in her wardrobe. 
Anyway, let's look at the house. The lights are off. Windows are broken. There is the front door and a yard. Let's unlock the door then. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. You reluctantly step inside the front door. Oh. Sure, that was nothing. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Let's look at the note. It's too to read, but it feels weird to touch. Okay, let's use the light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flip the light switch. Lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart. After years of neglect or worse, there are stains and trails all over the carpet. Is it? Oh, shit. Upstairs, the sound of the alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in this house. That can't be. The clock wants us to stop. Use clock. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Book clock. Turn off clock. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent, and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Yeah, so the time when that clock's broke, obviously the power went out. That's what happens to clocks. <laughs> the power goes out, they get set up, but somehow the, our, uh, our video game protagonist turned off our real-world alarm clock from downstairs. Interesting. So, let's look at the note, now that we have some light. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. Fair. Let's go in the kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The table tops are rusted metal, and there is a carcass on the table. There's writing on the wall. The utility room door has a red X painted on it. Red X on the door. You assume it's paint. Yeah, it must be paint. It feels like the note. Yeah, but the note was bleeding. So that means the doors. Anyway, let's look at the carcass. That's a more wholesome, I guess. Look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. Open the carcass. I'm sorry, I don't understand. That's probably for the best, actually. There seems to be writing on the wall in what looks like blood. Oh, well, let's look at that. Oof. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Maybe that's the last time we've been here. Oh, oh, hey, look. Our wall has 1986 written in paint. We step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Let's look at our shoes. Oh, we can't. Oh well. That's fine. Let's go to the living room, which was the the fun family room in our in our last iteration. The living room, although hardly a pro an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. The note, always changing, now reads, get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Interesting. Well, that's uh, unnecessarily uh, forceful. I'm already playing through the game. You don't have to tell me. We're down empty, abandoned, and for good reason. Turn to the hallway. Uh, it'd be nice if there was a way to skip, skip the text fill in, but I guess that wouldn't be realistic. The games, the games had to, yeah, you, you had to let the game load. You had to let the game load. Anyway. Let's go upstairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall. Behind it. Oh, God. 
<laughs> behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. Let's answer the phone. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. Consider the worst. Relief. Anyway, let's continue reading. <laughs> the lighting has access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Let's look around first. The lighting is bare and worn. Photos adorn the walls, all misaligned. Let's look at the photos. Pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Yeah, kind of like the photos on our desk. Sure, it's just a coincidence. Let's go to the bathroom. Enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Let's look at the sink. It's disgusting. Grime and dead bugs. The taps won't budge. Let's look around real quick. There should be a mirror, right? Yeah. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps are rusted in position. Let's look in the mirror then can't bear to look at yourself. Is that the right... Is that the right bear? Isn't that B... B... A... R... F... That? I don't know, actually. Now that, now that I'm saying it, I'm not sure if that is the right spelling of bear for this situation. Interesting. I am very literate in English, everyone. I hope you know that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's go to our sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Uh, remove boards. Uh, take boards. Maybe. Um, I'm not sure if we can get in there, actually. Go my room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Use lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note is heavier. You grab the lock and knock and input the code. I wonder what the code could be, guys. Let's look at the note. The note's reacting. Get in the door. Get in the room. Get in. Do it. Go. Well, if you insist. The note is very insistent, guys, so we should probably follow its its demands. Lock clicks open. Same but different. The landing has access to... Da, 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 da. Yeah. Look, sister's room. Let's look at it real quick. L look, boards, maybe? No, okay. Anyway, let's go my room. The door is closed. Oh. Uh, open my room. Uh, open door. You open the bedroom door. Oh, God. Do I dare? Am I going to cause a reality feedback loop here? Go my room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 99.99. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Let's look at the note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Walking back and forth, consumed by guilt. Let's try and talk to the person. You struggle out a hello. Everything you say, I say. Everything you are, I am. A feeling of hopelessness. Your grip on the note tightens further. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. Let's look at the note again. 
No, it's reacting. Get in the door, get in the room, get in. Oh, it does it again. Okay. Well, I think I know what the game wants us to do. You're pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was all my fault. I don't believe you. Like you mean it, please. All my fault. It was all my fault. Say it. Oh, whoops. I had the exclamation mark, everyone. Sorry. It was all my fault. Uh-oh. Someone's breathing behind me. Finally. That was episode one, the House of Mandan. Very creepy, eh? So, uh, what are the implications we're getting from this? A little bit of reality warping, a little bit of a uh, mental, uh, a mental screwery going on. This idea that uh, I am sitting at a game, at a desk playing the game of myself walking through the area where I'm playing the game. Very meta. <laughs> Very interesting. But yeah, that was episode one. And things are only going to get weirder from here. Next time, we get to run the lab. Yay, we're going to be a scientist. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Anyway, see you then. Bye-bye.